Roy is a pretty notorious and loathed and beloved, depending on who you're talking about, uh, lawyer. He's also really a big time fixer for a lot of rich and powerful and many times very shady <laughs> people. He juggles phone calls like that, like he's, like he's the guy at the pizzeria with the pizzas twirling in the air. Tony Kushner's Roy is a slightly different Roy from the Roy that I used to see on like New York daytime, noontime television talk shows and stuff, or, or the, the Roy you read about. It's better. Tony Kushner's Roy is a better. His thrust throughout the entirety of the three plus hours of Millennium Approaches is to get this young man, Joe Pitt, to commit to leave New York and his position as the clerk of the Court of Appeals to go to Washington and work in the Justice Department because he has to have that happen as well as he has to make this young man his son and it's mixed up in all kinds of fuzzy uh, psychosexual ways. In the second play in Perestroika he has been felled by being so sick. I think it's the first time in a long time he has like both a physical and a mental and a psychological struggle to hold on to the sort of sitting on a throne that he was used to for decades. When I'm working on the Roy that lives in these plays, I kind of love him and I'm a little bit surprised I'm not surprised, but I'm a little, I take umbrage when people around me make comments about, well, yeah, he's terrible, he's horrible. Well, how does it feel? Oh my God, he's such an awful man. And I'm like, no, he's, you don't understand him then. <laughs>